at a time of year when a lot of anglers have put their tackle away for the winter, there is some world-class fishing just a short drive from Vermont. And once you've hooked a steelhead in the Salmon River, you'll want to come back. Fish on. After 25 years of guiding, the one thing I will tell you is that hooking a steelhead does not get old. Nice run down. Josh, get down a little bit lower. I'm going to try to steer him down into that slow water. It's one of the things that I look forward to every fall, every year, is the uh, approach of the fall run steelhead. Bob Shannon owns the fly rod shop in Stowe, and he guides anglers on waters throughout Vermont. But come mid-October, he makes a point of heading west to the Salmon River in New York for its incredible run of steelhead trout. Bob spends almost every day guiding on the river through the end of November, and he rarely has a chance to wet a line. But on this trip, I had the opportunity to fish with him and one of his assistant guides during some rare time off. These fish are coming up 13 miles from Lake Ontario to come into the upper fly zone here in Altmar. So these fish are coming up to feed on salmon eggs. All right, we'll put this baby back. See if we can get a bigger one. Located in Oswego County, New York, the Salmon River is a sport fishing mecca. Throughout the year, a variety of spawning salmon and trout from Lake Ontario ascend the lower reaches of the river, which stretches from the Lighthouse Hill Reservoir in Altmar, 17 miles downstream to its confluence with the lake in Pulaski. Both towns cater to anglers, and it's perfectly normal to see fishermen clad in waiters in restaurants and other businesses. And anglers have a wide variety of lodges to choose from. We stayed at the Tailwater Lodge, a former elementary school that also offers its guests a private section of river to fish. I started guiding here about 20 years ago. And what drew me here originally was the Chinook salmon run, just like everybody else. The salmon come in in the fall, late August, September, and October, and it brings thousands of fish to the Salmon River. And along with that, thousands of anglers take advantage of the opportunity and try to catch a fish of a lifetime. These fish run between 20 and 30 pounds. Also known as king salmon, Chinooks are native to the Pacific Ocean and die after spawning. In late October and November, the Salmon River is full of decaying Chinook salmon and thousands of hungry steelhead trout. The steelhead that are normally a spring spawning fish actually come up the Salmon River in the fall to feed on the salmon eggs, and there are millions and millions of eggs floating down the river, attracting these fish by scent, decaying flesh, and the steelhead are coming up to feed. So this is a great opportunity for the fly anglers to target fish that are actually aggressively biting. More than 12 miles of the lower river is open to public fishing, and there are numerous access points. Although the river can be packed with both fish and anglers during peak runs, if you're willing to hike a little, you can get away from the crowds. During our day and a half of fishing, we concentrated on the upper fly fishing only section. When the Salmon River is full of fresh, bright steelhead, even veteran river rats get excited. They fight extremely hard. They're beautiful fish. They can be very acrobatic also at times. Um, so it's just a, a thrill to have the opportunity here to catch them. And on the right day, it's, you know, it can be off the charts with the number of fish you can hook up with. There's one. When we come over here to guide during the fall and spring months, we cater to all anglers. We provide them with a lot of instruction, and that's the main focus of our guide service, is to teach people how to really target these fish, how to figure out where they're gonna be, and then ways of catching them. So for those that aren't serious fly fishermen, we also provide spin fishing, center pin fishing. We bring drift boats over and we float the river, so that gives people an opportunity to see the whole river when they do a trip. All right, we'll turn it on, let's go get another one. One of the uh, greatest joys we have from the fly rod shop getting people to hook a, a giant fish and take a picture. These are Christmas card photo opportunities for people and an awesome experience. One thing you don't need when fishing for steelhead in the fall is a huge selection of fly patterns. 
They're coming up for three reasons. Eggs, eggs, and more eggs. So one of the best fly patterns that you can use this time of year is an egg pattern. You know, we change it up occasionally with a San Juan worm or a nymph pattern, but primarily right now it's, it's an egg fly or bust. So the best approach in, in trying to get your fly in front of the fish is to fish the bottom water column. And for fly anglers, that's probably the greatest challenge. So we use an indicator system or a bobber and we try to float the bobber as far downriver as we can with a drag-free drift by extending some weight down the leader system and letting the fly or egg pattern naturally tumble along the bottom of the river where the fish are looking for their eggs. For the most part, it's a game of win some and lose many. They can be very hard to hold on to, especially when they're holding in this very fast water. That's a fish. I thought that was a so, the angler coming here for the first time definitely shouldn't get discouraged if they hook a few fish and don't land one. Hook came free? Yep. Oh! Even experienced anglers miss plenty of fish on the Salmon River. You're looking at me? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I just wanted to make sure you didn't you miss that miss. or something? <laughs> Oh, we got him. Nice. That is a nice one. With these fall run steelhead, a good day for us on the river is if we hook 10 fish and we put three in the net, then we've had a great day. So the odds of you hooking a fish are good, but the opportunity of landing them can be tough. That's the next step in the game. Just like baseball, if you're batting 300 on the Salmon River, you're doing well. I certainly had my share of hookups while fishing with Bob, but keeping them on was another matter. Yet all it took was one fish and a little luck to break my slump in dramatic fashion. That's a fish. Yeah! Woo! Why do they run Get right tight. at me? Get tight. <laughs> Did it you see that? It almost jumped in your pocket. I have never seen anything like that. I set the hook. The line comes running back. I mean, he was hanging in front of my face. Unbelievable, unbelievable. If you're not sure if you're hooked up, you might be pretty sure of it when you see one explode out of the water. The steelhead that come in the Salmon River are referred to as the silver bullets. These fish come up fresh out of Lake Ontario, and when they're right out of the lake, they're super aggressive. Your reel will be screaming. That's the money fish right there. I don't know if it's the money fish, Bob, until he's in the net. <laughs> One of the big challenges to getting steelhead to the beach is once they realize they're in that thin water, the, the next thing they want to do is run back out into the main channel where they've been hanging out. So you're pulling them into shore and they don't want to be there. So when you're by yourself, the odds of you landing that fish drop dramatically. One of the big benefits to having us as a guide is that we've got the big hoop. All right. Hard to believe that's just an average steelhead for the Salmon River. Finally, one that comes tight and stays tight. All right, so Bob, five pounds? Five pounder, that's a pretty average cookie cutter steelhead for the Salmon River. That's unbelievable. 10-12 is a real good fish. 10-12 is, you know, pushing it. 18, not out of the question. That's, I don't know how you would keep a fish like that on. It's a battle, 45 minutes. Yeah. Although I may have had one like that take my fly yesterday because I sure couldn't stop him. Um, but I'm grateful for one that I could actually land, to tell you the truth. I'm glad, I'm glad they come in average sizes. All right, let's get this fish released. I've been fortunate in my guiding career to travel around the world, hosting and guiding trips from Labrador, British Columbia, South America, and I, I realized you know, after all those travel trips that the best fishing was really in my backyard. Arguably, the Salmon River, in my opinion, affords people with a world-class fishing opportunity to catch a fish of a lifetime. Nice Salmon River steelhead. Nice in the sun. All right. 